Good evening, Tony. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very fine. And you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Today is Thursday, so we are almost done with this week, right? So, and it's been a really good day. Um, in your day, how was it? Busy? Um, very busy. Uh, with two meetings with more of two hours and uh, a lot of uh, emails that need to to request and or to uh, reply back. To uh, to reply back exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so I think that yeah, it was kind of um busy, right? Very busy. Uh, yes. Seven. 7 p.m. in the afternoon when I finish okay. my work in San Martin and okay. then uh, drive to my house. Yes. And so quickly to come to the to the class. Yes, on time, right? On time. <laughs> Do you work on weekends? Um, <clears throat> a few weeks, yes, and a few weeks, no. It depends of the um time of sales um okay. principally when it's end of the on end of the month or uh -huh. uh, when it's 15 uh, because <laughs> uh, have money that uh, the, the people have received the payment mm. uh, salary and is a good occasion to 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 the sale okay yes i think that those days are kind of busier than uh, the other uh -huh. ones right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay good evening. Good evening, mm -hmm. Carlos Vladimir. Uh, good evening, Carlos Omar as well. So they are here. How are you guys? Okay, perfect. All right, so I think that, um, well, Mayra is connecting right now. All right, guys. So we are going to start with today's class. Um, We have different activities that we are going to cover today. We are going to continue with the book. And today's agenda, we have the warm-up. Then we are going to move to vocabulary. And the grammar part that we are going to study today is how to use quantifiers, yeah? We also have listening quizzes and we have a speaking time today, yeah? So with the warm up, we are going to start with the following, yeah? We are going to start with this tongue twister. Um, <laughs> it is not a tongue twister, like a specifically a tongue twister, but it's going to be kind of because of the complex words that those, um, actually this paragraph has, yeah? Um, I'm pretty sure that you know this word in Spanish, right? But now we are going to say it in English, yes? And this one goes like this, super califragilistic, Expialidocious. Yes, so super califragilistic expialidocious. All right. So then we move, even though, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious, if you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Super califragilistic expialidocious. Okay, so we are going to try, yes? All right. Practice it, you alone. Practice it just for one minute, you alone. And then we're going to go one by one because I would like to hear most of you. Mm -hmm. Expialidocious. Yes, expialidocious. Docious. Yes. Docious. El os is omitted to the presentation. Yeah. Uh -huh. Expialidocious. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, Mayra Cecilia, can you please say it? Try. Okay. Super califragilistic expedilotions, having taught the sound of into is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, your eye your always sounds precocious. Super, super califragilistic expedil 
Expiadolosius. Expiadolosius. Okay, very good. Yes, it was good. Okay. Yes, very good. Okay, uh, Carlos Omar. Um, very large. Super yes. Calibre. Super calibra gilistis expelliardis. <laughs> mm, okay. Mm -hmm. even, even though the song of it is something quite atrocious, if you say it loud enough, you will always sound precocious. Yes. Super calibra gilistis expelliardis. 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 Expialidosis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Eh, Había el bonía. Super cali fragilistic expialidosion. Even throw the thumb of it is something with atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious, super calligraphic, espialiocho. Okay, very good, okay? It was good. We just need to practice. We just need to practice, okay? Uh, Tony. Good evening, teacher. Good uh, evening, yeah. I like driving one moment, please. Okay. I will be listening. Okay. Thank you. Tony. Okay. Me estaba riendo en mí mismo porque me estaba. Okay. Okay. Super califragilistic expialidosius. Mm -hmm. Even though the sum of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loved enough, enough, you'll always sound precocious. Super califragilistic expialidosis. The only observation is with the letter G, which is super califrag califragilistic. Okay. Then the other ah, part. Es que la, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let me see. Emerson. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Super calif. Califragilisticus septiolus. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. Super califragilisticus even though the, the, sound the, of it. Of, the sound of it is something quite atrocious. Uh -huh. If you say it aloud, the note, you'll always sound pre precocious. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Emerson, okay, let's see. It is super califragilistic, super califragilistic expialidocious. Expialidocious. Super califragilistic expialidocious. 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 Ajá, entonces sería super califragilistic expialidocious. Super califragilistic expialidocious. Ok, so so, but it was better than before. Bueno, okay. Yes, ok, but ok, we just need to practice, ok, thank you. Let me see. Um, Jose. I think the Jose is there. Yes. Yes, yes miss. Okay. Can you please say it? All of this. Um, okay. Super cal califragilistic sex pialidocious, even though the sound of it, it of uh, it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you always sound precious, super califragilistic sex pialidocious. Okay, precocious, okay, precocious. Okay. <laughs> okay, but it was good, okay? Thank you, Jose. Uh, Jonathan, teacher, are you there? Teacher. Yeah, yes. yes. Oh, do you say supercalifragisticlisterexpialidocious? What is? What is the meaning? Yes. 
this is a phrase. This is a phrase that, um, I mean, if you have uh, seen Mary Poppins, I don't know if you have seen that movie. It in is Spanish. a phrase. Es una frase. Es una frase que utilizan en eh, Inglaterra. Es básicamente para decir que todo va a salir bien. E incluso en español nosotros lo tenemos. Esos son los trabalenguas que nos enseñan. Bueno, a, a, mí, a mí me lo enseñaron cuando estaba en el colegio. Okay. Y eso en español es súper califragilístico, es pialidoso. ¿Ya? Entonces, en inglés es de esta manera, súper califragilístico, es pialidosis. Pero es como una frase que significa que todo va a salir bien en los momentos difíciles. ¿Ok? Eh, Jonathan. Ok. Um... Super califragistic sex pialidocious, even so the sound of the of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precious, super califragistic validocious. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Very no, don't worry, yes. I mean, this is just with practice, okay? But practice it. So super, super califragilistic expialidocious. Super califragilistic expialidocious. Yeah? Practice it. Uh, as many times as you need, right? And then you will see that you are going to improve also your fluency because those type of words, even though they are difficult at the beginning, but they will help you a lot, yeah? So let's see. Um, Luis Miguel. Good evening. Good evening. I have to read this. Yes, please. Super califragilistic experience. Pliadi... Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Super califragilistic expialidocious. Okay. Okay. Super califragilistic expialidocious. Expialidocious. <laughs> Super califragilistic expialidocious. Those shoes. Even though the sum of this is something quite atrocious, if you say it, it low enough, you will always sound pre precocious, uh, precocious, super califragilistic, expialidocious. Okay, all right. So, so, okay, don't worry, okay, but we just need to practice, okay, but please practice it, yes, practice it, yeah. Uh, do I have some volunteers to say it from the ones that have not participated? Batilio. Batilio is, is actually driving, I think that he can't, yeah, so he can't. Can you <clears throat> pronounce again? Ah, yes, of course. Sure, so, sure. it is super califragilistic expialidocious. 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 Mm -hmm. And here, I think that here, uh, some of you actually uh, stumble a little bit. So, okay, this one is super Califragilistic. Califragilistic. Super califragilistic expialidocious. Yes. Mm, so so expialidocious. Expialidocious. Uh -huh, again. Even though the sum of is is something kids atrocious. Okay. It's your, Days I love and and know you are always some um, precocious, precocious, super califragilistic, especially doses. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, at the beginning was good. Okay, but this one at the end we mixed like the pronunciation. 
Yeah, but I mean, this one is just with practice, guys. Just with practice, okay? And I'm going to play the, the video, okay? Actually, there is a song. This one is a song. It is a song. I'm going to just share the part where they sing this short paragraph, okay? Is this one? Should I take them to the newspaper? Oh, uh, naturally, I'm delighted. Besides having your extreme good looks, if I may say so. <laughs> oh, well, I wouldn't go. There probably are words to describe your emotions. Now, 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 gentlemen, please. On the contrary, there's a very good word. Am I right, Bert? Tell them what it is. Right. Yeah, so it is a song. This type of songs make you improve your fluency. You should start listening to this type of songs and try to sing those type of songs because they will help you a lot. Okay. Peter, is this phrase is invented by, by the movie or is um, part of the culture of the British? Um, you know, it is invented. It is invented, but it is something that represents also the culture because i mean it is really uh known okay. yes the supercalifragilisticexpialidocious yes it, it is really <laughs> known yeah <laughs> yes but yes you should uh practice it okay you will see that you are going to improve uh -huh. i buy my tongue <laughs> yes at the beginning it happens right but then you will see that you are going to improve your fluency as well okay, okay. all right let's move guys so let's start by describing an idea when it comes to marketing okay so we have um in this case five words yeah so we have crazy we have risky we have creative we have sensible and we have radical yeah so let's um maybe add the correct word to describe the idea yeah let's add the adjective yeah so it says let's build a search engine to compete with google how do you describe this idea with those adjectives uh -huh. Crazy. Crazy. It is crazy. Yes. Okay. What about number two? We should delegate certain tasks to the secretary in order to focus on the important issues. Risky. Risky? Do you think so? Yes. I think it's risk. risky. Okay. Well, yes. Now, number uh, three. Let's completely stop advertising and try to reach new clients through our company blog. Creative. 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 Okay. Could be. And what about the next one? Uh -huh. uh, help us reading number four, Carlos Omar. Why don't we borrow uh, 100,000 uh, okay. from the bank and invest in the stock market? Uh -huh. This is a crazy idea. It is crazy. It could be crazy or it could be risky, right? But crazy, I think. All right, the last one, Tony, and give us your opinion. Instead of throwing away all this extra fabric, why don't we use it to make handbags for women? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is radical. Because right. mm, it, mm, a normal person don't think about the the uh, desperdicio, um, 
of the, 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 the relative products of the fabric could be used in other, mm. in other products. Mm -hmm. Radical. I think this is radical. Or could be creative. This is another option. Creative as well, right? Okay, could be radical or creative. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Okay, pronunciation on this one. Creative. Women. Women. Women, yes, okay. Now, guys, this is for everybody. This word is going to be creative. Cre creative. Yeah, creative. Mm -hmm. Creative. Yes. Okay, let's move and let's work on the book. All right. So we are going to start with how to use quantifiers. Um, in English, guys, we have many quantifiers. Yes, but we are going to cover some of them right now. So let's start by um, practicing the role play. So we have Oscar and Sonia. I need two volunteers. One is going to be Oscar and the other one is going to be Sonia. Me teacher. Carlos, you are Oscar and Abby. Abby. Okay, Abby, you are Sonia. Okay. Did you hear the sales of the green tortricas how declined? Mm -hmm. I did, and I can't believe it. We worked many hours to intrude it to the market. Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. I throw green tortricas, good success with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, let's see. Um, a strategy, a strategy. Yeah, then we also have okay. succeed, succeed. Yeah, succeed. So let me ask you, okay, based on this short conversation, in what a stage of its life cycle is green portricas at the moment? In which stage? Is it uh, in the introduction stage? or in the growth stage, or in the maturity stage, or on the decline stage? In maturity state. Decline state. Decline. Decline, right? In the decline stage. Mm -hmm. And now number two, question number two. In what a stage of the green tortricas life cycle did Sonia invest a lot of effort? In which stage did she invest a lot of effort according to this short conversation? Mm -hmm. In the growth, growth stage. In the growth stage? Introduction. Introduction. In the uh, introduction. Yes, a stage, right? Correct. Okay. Um, it says that we need to complete the statements, okay? So let's see, guys. In this case, we work which is the quantifier that we need to add. We worked many hours. Many hours to introduce in to introduce it to the market. Number two, you put a lot of a lot of. And the last one, I thought the product would succeed with a little. A little. Okay. So, and we have quantifiers, right? Okay, guys, as you can see, we have quantifiers, which are the expressions of quantity that we can use with 
non-count nouns, and that means uncountable nouns. And we also have the expressions of quantity that we should use with countable nouns or count nouns. Yeah. So let's see. Um, Jonathan, can you please help us reading those two charts? Okay. Expression of quantity used with non count nouns. A little, a lot of, sometimes, and much. I agree with. of quantity quantity used with count nouns a few a lot of some uh, hours many plenty of and um, no <coughs> and the last Thanks. one yeah i'm yeah. sorry our effort look and time countable nouns are not count nouns use expression about to quantify noun count nouns and the last one is is our accountable noun or a non account count noun? Use expression about to quantify countable noun. Yes, okay, thank you. So guys, in this case, um, we have different expressions as you can see. We use all of them to talk about non count nouns and we use all of them to talk about countable nouns. Yeah, so basically effort and luck those are uncountable, yeah? And ours, countable. That's why we have the um, big example, right? Some time or some hours or many hours or a few hours or <laughs> plenty of hours or no hours, yeah? And maybe you are going to notice that some of them are used in both um, you know, nouns, countable and uncountable. As you can see, we have some and some. We can use them in both uh, type of nouns. We have a lot of, a lot of, yes. We have plenty of, plenty of, no, no. Uh, there are some that change, right? For example, a little cannot be used with countable nouns. And I'm pretty sure that you remember that we covered this uh, whenever we cover little, a little, few, and a few, right? So we also have this one, which is much and many, right? You know that much is for uncountable and many is for countable nouns. But now let's try to uh, talk about something else, which is there are various factors that can cause the decline of a product, okay? Let's move to this. Which are some of the reasons that we can encounter whenever we face the decline of a product? What are some factors? What are some reasons? So we have the first one, which is market saturation. This one is the one that we covered yesterday. Yes, market saturation. We also can uh, mention technological advancements. Poor marketing and branding, quality issues, pricing, or external factors. Yes. So in this case, those can be some factors that can cause the decline of a product. Now, which are some of the tactics that we can implement to probably uh, face the decline of a product? Here we have some examples, yes? So we have buy one, get one free. And what is the meaning of this in our Spanish? Al dos por uno. Buy one, get one free. Uh -huh. Do we have this in our country? Yes, in September, Mr. Donitz. <coughs> uh -huh. That is true. But I think that buy one, get one free is not common in our country. Sometimes, for example, I don't, I don't remember, but uh, in Pizza Hut, uh, also uh, mm. Tuesday and Thursday, uh -huh. maybe, and 
they have pizzas, but right now I I I, I don't know. But uh -huh. um, a few years ago, um, I remember that this promotion in this place, and and I remember also in uh, Pollo Campero, uh -huh. them uh, pizzas. Uh, buy one get a one free on Wednesday and Friday. I remember, for mm -hmm. example, yes, this promotion. Okay. On Peridos, yeah, you can get a different promotion. Buy one get one free mm -hmm. at Papa John's and sometimes <laughs> Starbucks. I know in Starbucks you can get, you can get Tuesday and Thursday. And on Thursdays, okay, perfect. All right. Mm -hmm. So it I, is common. I agree. Uh -huh. I agree with you, teacher. Uh, it is not common as well in all the time in El Salvador. It's mm -hmm. uh, only a few brands or a few um, companies have this this option of tech marketing tactical. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not the common. Um, uh, is more is more common or in this time here uh you buy you buy one and mm -hmm. get up 50 percent in the second art, art mm -hmm. correct that is correct mm -hmm. i agree mm -hmm. okay and what about loyalty schemes what is the mean of loyalty loyalty schemes when it comes to marketing tactics for example when you buy um in a shop and when this this place they offer um many products or or <laughs> or um how a, how do you say premium a reward yeah yeah for your for your my boy and for example, if you um, if you go to the shop uh, two or three times in a month, uh, this place um, yeah, get um, a many products or or different offers for mm -hmm. your loyalty. Mm -hmm. Like Punto Leal. Yeah. Correct. Yes. And they sometimes give you a card right a card yes uh -huh. in my case uh, in the at the barber shop that i go when they gave me a a, a car uh -huh. and the car when how do you say say you yeah seal seals yes when when i vote uh when i buy a uh, a court, I don't know how to say. When when you go and cut your hair, uh, and cut my hair, they they put me uh, a seal. A seal, and when I get a uh, six six, they gave me a uh, they give me a uh, free cut. A free a free cut. That is cool. Okay, very good. Okay. All right. So uh, what about limited time offers? I think that this one, yes, we do have them. Limited time offers. We have them in some stores. Some At stores. Mm -hmm. Okay. At Chato, you can buy the different viewers or different type of food between 3 p.m. or, mm -hmm. or 8, 7 p.m., but okay. after the price is the regular price. Correct, the regular price, okay. Um, yes, okay, yes. Seasonal discounts. We also have seasonal discounts in our country, but not mm. that often. Yes. Mr. Donuts. We have a, a, a promotion Simon. of wheels in, in, in one month specifically by the Empresa 
repuestos and, and, and other brands in other companies. Sure. Ah, Shock. or the Portiguadores, uh, the Shock, Shock Up Shock. Server in, in February. Server, yeah. February, okay. In February, uh, the, uh, he said, uh, La Oferta del Amor, Tiguador. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. In February. <laughs> right. Yeah, that is in a seasonal. Christmas, uh -huh. In Christmas time? Christmas. Most of, of um stores where they sell clothes, right? Yes. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Contests. Yes, we have contests. What is the meaning of contests? Contest? Concursos. Ah, okay. Like uh, gasolineras uno. Uh huh. Or, or Puma right now. Or Puma right now, yeah. Mm -hmm. With seven you Volkswagen. Uh -huh. exactly. You participate in a raffle. In a rifa. In a raffle. 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 R-A-F-F-L-E. Raffle. Raffle. R -A -F -F -L -E. raffle. Mm -hmm. And we also have marketing tactics. We have regular free information. Well, this one, I think that is whenever you um, you receive, you get emails or you get sometimes text uh, messages or probably WhatsApps, right? With regular free information. Mm -hmm. Claro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> okay. I think that yes. <laughs> no, yeah, that is true. That is true. Okay. Those are just marketing tactics, right? The red wig teacher. We have a <laughs> red wig in different times, of three times of the year or four times of the year. Really? I didn't yeah. know about that. Uh, I'm going to send you an offer right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tony. All right. Okay. So those are uh, some tactics that we can use to face the decline of a product, right? Those could be some tactics. Of course, uh, companies, they do have more, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So now let's move and let's start with the grammar part, okay? Let's start with non-count nouns. Yes, uncountable nouns. And let's study some of the expressions, some, yes. Um, Luis Miguel, can you please help us reading everything? Expressions of not count nouns are phrases or a structure used to talk about things that cannot be counted mm -hmm. or quantified. Yeah. No count nouns refer to substance Things, materials, concepts, or ideas that are seen <laughs> as a word, wall, or cannot be divided into individual units. Mm -hmm. Here are some common expressions used with and not common nouns. Mm -hmm. Quality expression. Some uses to indicate an unspecified amount of quality. Can you give me some advice? Okay, thank you. How uh, for a nose wall? Yes. <laughs> hold, hold. Cold. Hold. 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 Without W. Hold. And Luis Miguel, this one, how do you pronounce this? Uh, uh, use. Used. Okay. Mm -hmm. You said no, used, right? Used. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we use some to indicate an unspecified amount or quantity. Yes, and we can use it with uncountable nouns. And in this case, we have one example. Can you give me some advice? Can you give me some water? Do you need some help? Do you need some oranges? Do you need some apples? Do you need some uh, pens? Do you need some new, what, people? I don't know. You can use some with 
uncountable and with countable nouns. This one is very easy, right? Some. Now we also have the quantifier, a lot of, lots of, much, and little. Those are for uncountable nouns. Yes, we can use them with uncountable nouns. Uh, help us reading this information. Nelly, are you there? I think that she's not there. Carla? Hi. <laughs> okay, help us reading this information, Carla. Okay. Uh, not con nouns. A lot of or lots of used to express a large amount on quad quantity. Example, she has a lot of experience in the field. Much used in negative sentence and questions to express a large quantity. Mm -hmm. Example, how much time do we have left? A little used to express a small amount or quantity. Example, there is little water left in the bottle. Thank you. Okay, so as you can see, we have a lot of and lots of. Both are interchangeable. That means that you can use either or. You can say a lot of or you can say lots of. Yes? And in this case, we use those expressions to express a large amount or quantity. She has a lot of experience in that field or she has lots of experience in that field. Bill. Tony? Teacher, yes. in, when we use a lot of or a lot of, the meaning it doesn't change. It doesn't change. No, it doesn't change. Okay, it's exactly the same. Only different forms to say it. Correct. Yes. But the most common is a lot of. A lot of. Ah, exactly. Because lost of. It's something uh, kind of... Uh, informal, but you can hear people saying lots of. Uh -huh. uh, es, es que no lo, lots. Uh -huh. no, no, no lo había oído. Okay. Ah, sí, but yes, yeah. there are many people that say lots of. And we sometimes lots of, right? But yes, it is not formal, but you can hear people saying lots of. It's exactly the same. Before. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. So then we also have much that you know that that one is for uncountable nouns and we have little that you know that is for uncountable nouns, right? Okay. And we have um, the last one that in this case, um, no, let's move. Okay, this one, okay. Which is a little with the A, a little, some, much, and a great deal of. Okay, um, help us reading this information, Emerson. No count now. Expression of time, little, some, much, a great deal of. Using to talk about the duration, duration or length of time required for a no count now. Example, it's take its a little time to learn a new skill. The phrases plenty of is commonly used to indicate a large of su sufficient quality, quantity of something. It is used with the non comes nouns and can be used in the both positive and negative sentences. Here are some examples of the how plenty of is used. Example, this is plenty of food of the prairie. There isn't plenty of space in the car for all of us. Mm -hmm. Okay, Emerson, how do you pronounce this word? Use it. Are you sure? You said. you said, okay, do we pronounce it you said, used, or used? Used. Used, all right. Used. No you said, okay. used, okay. 
Very good. So we have the expressions of time, guys. A little, some, much, and a great deal of. And those are to talk about the duration or length, right? La duración o, en este caso, el tiempo. Yes. Required for a non-counting noun. And we have, it takes a little time. It takes some time. It takes uh, too much time. It takes a great deal of time to learn a new uh, skill. And what is the meaning of a great deal of? It's like saying a lot, mucho. Yeah, that is the interpretation. We also have the phrase plenty of. And I mean, those are just synonyms. Okay, plenty of is like saying also a lot of. For example, there is plenty of food at the party. So it is used to indicate a large or sufficient, sufficient quantity of something. Okay, and it says that plenty of can be used in both positive and negative sentences. There is plenty of food at the party and we have there isn't plenty of a space in the car for all of us. Yes, and in this case we have, remember, non-countable nouns, a little, a lot of, some, much, a great deal of, plenty of, and we also have no. Now with no, let's move and let's see when to use no. Yeah. So um, let's see, George, can you please help us reading this information? No counts nouns. When using no with no counts nouns, it is typically used to so indicate the absence or lack of something. Here, here are a few examples. There is no milk in the fridge. She has no time to waste. I have no money left. There are no chairs in the room. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. So we use no. No, just no. Yeah. And just no is typically, typically, yeah, typically used to indicate the lack of something, the absence, the lack. There is no milk, she has no time, she has no money, there is no uh, water, there are no chairs. No, just no. Mm -hmm. I have no time. Mm -hmm. That means that there is, I mean, there is um, the absence, yeah, of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So now let's move and let's talk about, uh, let me see, give me one second. Let me erase this. Okay, now let's move and let's talk about countable nouns that we also have some expressions that we need to study. So when do we use those expressions? Who wants to read? Well, Wendy, can you please help us reading? <laughs> Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Calm nouns. Expression of quantity use, use it with the calm nouns are words or, or phrases that indicate the specific amount or number of countable items. Mm -hmm. These expressions help provide clarity and precision when discussing 
quantities. Here are some common expressions of quantity used when counts nouns. Here are some common expressions used with noun come nouns. Mm -hmm. Many used to indicate indicated a large number or quantity. Example, there are many students in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you, right? Okay, guys. Um, so we know the use of many, right? Because I mean we have studied this before. Yeah, so you know how to use many, you know how to use much, you know how to use most of those quantifiers, right? This is just a review for you to remember and recall previous knowledge, yeah? So you know that many is used to indicate um, the large number or quantity, yeah? And you know that many is used with countable nouns, okay? We also have a, a few, some, and many, all right, the one that we mentioned before, a few, it indicates a small number or a small amount, but it's still more than few. Do you remember about that topic, the difference between few and a few? Do you remember that? L let me ask you, okay, let me see. Uh, who can explain to us which is the difference between few and a few? <laughs> mm -hmm. which is the difference i think that was the last class that we covered used for countable and countable mm, not exactly jonathan guys uh, um um I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm okay with, but few is when you have um, poco. Uh, mm -hmm. A few is uh, when you have less than few. Oh, I love it. I am scrambling the. Yes. <laughs> okay. So a few is when you have. Uh, poco de algo. Mm -hmm. And Some? few is when you have less than few. Mm -hmm. Correct. Poco y muy poco. Poco y muy poco. Um, but a few is like some. Es como algunos. A few es como algunos. Y few es poco. Pocos. And a few and few both are used only with countable nouns. Mm -hmm. Don't forget about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we also have some, well, you know that some indicates an unspecified or non-specific quantity, the same thing that we covered before, right? Can you give me some pencils, please? pencils yeah and many you know that is it is used to emphasize a large number or quantity of something right many students dream of studying abroad well i think that those are really easy for you okay let's move and let's work on the book it says that we need to identify and correct three mistakes related to the use of quantifiers in the statements below. Okay, let's see. What is the mistake on the first sentence? Hmm? Which is the mistake? It says, Dana projected the new product will not attract much customers. What is the mistake? Much customers. Okay, much customers. Uh, how can we correct, correct this? Attract many customers. Perfect. It should be many. 
Excellent. Is number two correct or incorrect? Mm, maybe it's correct, but sounds better. A few revise. Okay. It is to revise. Um, okay. It is correct, but if you want to remove some and add fewer, a few, it's okay as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe it sounds better, but it's okay. Okay. What about number three? Before sales decline, it is essential that we implement a great deal of modification. Is it correct or incorrect or should we change the quantifier? Let's go here and take a look at the where we have the quantifiers, right? For non-count nouns and for countable nouns. And we are using a great deal of. Take a look at where a great deal of is. It's in Cora because in, in, in this case, uh, the company have uh, okay uh, countable specific modifications and in, in the other way a great deal is a lot of I, I don't know what the correct yes okay so it is incorrect right a great deal of it is incorrect so we should add a lot of or many. Yeah, very good. Okay, what about number four? Is it correct or incorrect or should we change or what do you think? Number four, plenty of our customers have expressed satisfaction with the product. Plenty of. Let's go back and let's see if we can use plenty of for both. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. So is it correct or incorrect? I think it's correct. It's correct. Very good. Number five. Is it correct or incorrect? A little competitors have established low prices for products similar to ours. Correct or incorrect? Mm -hmm. A little competitors have established low prices for products similar to ours. Is it correct or incorrect? What do you think? Well, let's go back, okay? Let's see. A little for uncountable nouns. Let's see if we have it for countable nouns. Well, no, right? So let's go again 
to the exercise. And let's see, a little competitors. Okay, what is next to a little? Is it countable or uncountable noun? Countable. Countable noun. So can we use a little? No, a few. A few. a few. Very good. So it is incorrect. And the last one. Supermarkets have placed many orders of green tortricas this week. Correct or incorrect? Many orders. Um, what do you think? Correct. It is correct. It is correct. Huh? Very good. Okay. Uh, you need to be careful. Okay. Be careful um, with the specific quantifier because as you can see right here, we have a great deal of that is used only with uncountable nouns. Okay. So pay attention to this as well. Now let's take the first quiz, but first of all, I'm going to take the attendance. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to take the attendance and we are going to take the first quiz, which is about um, quantifiers, okay? It is simple, it is easy, but you need to remember about the things that we have studied and the things that you know already about quantifiers. Okay, guys, um, let me see. Yes. Okay, say present, Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present. Thank you, Carlos Omar Linares Cañas. Present. Thank you, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Vladimir. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Eduardo, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, Miss. Thank you. Fátima Gabriela Loza Castillo. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Jose González Domínguez. Present. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present. Thank you, George. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elías Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Juan Jose. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Zelaya. Present, teacher. Thank you, Kenia. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present, teacher. Oh, yes, Mauricio. There you are. Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade Garcia. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán. Raúl Antonio. Carlos Vladimir. Okay. Eh, Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you. And Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you, Wendy. Okay. Let's take the first quiz, guys, uh, which is the quantifiers. Okay. This is the link, and the passcode is going to be English, capital letters. Okay. Add your full name, and let's take that quiz, quantifiers. Okay. Quantifiers.
Okay. Let me see. Okay, very good. I can see that some of you got 100, okay? I can, I can see that some of you fail on one. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. I got Mayra. Okay, so I got Emerson, Jonathan, George, Jose, Juan, Antonio, Tony, Carla, Sofia, Kenny, Elizabeth, Mayra, Cecilia, Sandra, Vladimir, Fatima. Uh -huh. Okay. Was it difficult? A few. A little. A little. A little. A little. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm assuming it's in some of you. Okay, guys. Okay, so let's move right now. Let's move. And what we are going to do is the following. Let me... So what we're going to do is the following. I need you to create, all right? So that's what we're going to do to practice those um, expressions, which are quantifiers. I need you to create a short role play. That means a short conversation, including quantifiers. Yes? I'll give you around five to seven minutes in order for you to complete the role play. Yes? So you can um, create a role play on your notepad or on our document, yeah? And then you are going to um, actually say it here in the main session, yeah? 
So right now I want you to create a short role play, but you need to use quantifiers. Yes. I don't know, maybe at least four quantifiers. Yeah. So I'm going to create the breakout rooms and I'm going to uh, put you in pairs. If you cannot join, then please stay here in the main room. Okay. So let's move. Let's see. I think that you are alone, right? Yes, you are alone. I'm going to move you. I'm going to move you. Give me one second. Okay. I'm going to move you with Tony. Let me see. Yes. doing uh, a little role play. Um, what do you like to talk about in this role play? We need to use um, uh, sentence with countable and be countables. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what you mean. A star push up. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Okay, bye. You come in. Okay. <laughs> I, I. Uh, for example, and good evening or good morning or good afternoon. I don't know. Next or una conversación? A hmm? conversation. Um. How can we start? Lo que puede ser. It could be a restaurant, right? Vieron poquita comida. I don't know, maybe you uh, can talk about the ingredients about something, I don't know, in order for you to use the quantifiers. It could be a restaurant. Um... It could be a party. It could be the zoo. I don't know. Echo Marie. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Oh, how many? How many? How, how many, many cell phones? Do, uh, how many cell phones do you need? Uh, and you ask me, I need to give the cell phones for for the old family. <laughs> I put. <laughs> well, we are about tw the twelve families. <laughs> wow. No. No, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. About... I need to give um for example, I need to give uh five cell phones. Uh -huh, for, I need uh, to give yeah. Five. I have I I have height I medium range. Do you stay at you? <laughs> <laughs> I have uh -huh. high and um, medium range. Ah, okay. The the half orange. Uh um cell phone. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm. And, and you ask me how much cost? Uh, um, how much? One hundred. Uh, and I see you sad. Why? Why do you? Why do you? Uh, como molesta, hungry o shire. Sad, triste, ajá. Little shy to a shire. Shire. I don't I don't remember if if it's shire. correct. I see you shire, como triste. Ah. Oh, but in this case it could be sad, no? Sad. Uh, uh, I wrote sad, but uh I yes, this or for you. <laughs> ah, maybe this is the best uh, uh, expression. Furious. 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 What happened? Furious. 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 Yes, how much? Each one uh, is cost. how much cost? Or everyone? Yo creo que es each one. How much cost each one? Each one, yes. Mm. E A. C H U M. It's the pen, right? <laughs> no, no. In the pen. Fast. Um, for example, um, I say, well, uh, ways. Where? You can you can share the screen if you want, so he can see what you are writing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hi, Pauls. Uh, como decir, hola, amigos. Yo también estuve en el tráfico atorado. Uh, hi, Pauls. I the traffic is is the problem of is problem is problem for all. 
Vamos a ver, el tráfico es problema para todos. El traffic es oh, common. Common, com, común, common, common en San Salvador. Por ejemplo, I do a conversation using we create a a, a, a dialogue for for the con using controls or quantifiers. Okay. Okay. We have two prices that high range is cost uh one thousand dollars. One thousand dollars and one thousand. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and use George. And I have a my my cell phone is the the low the low range. Uh, I it cost seven seventy dollars. <laughs> It's a, it's it's an analogic cell phone. <laughs> I'm a, a Nokia. My, my cell phone. My cell phone. Uh, um, With light. Only teacher, make call. Teacher. Yes. Oh, only yes. call phone calls. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice esos que salen en los cereales? <laughs> my cell phone juice. For a choice. <laughs> What What? cereal? Es que el mío es de los que salen en los cereales. Y que un cereal y le dan el cell phone. Uh, <laughs> it is like um like I a can't believe it. A, What? A, yeah, yeah, como like un juguete. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Es como, yeah. como una sorpresa. Mm -hmm. a surprise. El cell phone. Uh, um the medium ranch. Not. <risa> ok. Pero si quiere decir como que su teléfono es como uno de juguete, puede decir my cell phone. Es a toy, pero es que no sé qué, qué realidad no, quiere. No, es que yo le dije <risa> que Jorge me dice que el DEL es de media, de media gama, de eso que vale. No sé cuánto dijo, no recuerdo. 70 dólares. <risa> ah. 70. Y yo le digo que el mío salió en una, en una, en una caja okay. de cereal. Ah, okay. Yeah. ok, ok. Mm, what it says Carla on the on the second one. I need to I need to give five. I need to give five cell phones. <laughs> you want to say que usted quiere regalar, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. O give. Eh. Give. Uh, give es como regalo. Eh. I need to give. Puede decir regalar, pero regalarle a alguien. Entonces, I need to give five cell phones. Uh -huh. wow, how, much does, how much does it... No, does... Ok. Does... Póngale does. How much does... Each one cost. Cost at the end. Each one cost. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, así. Does each one cost. Y se la ponen azulita porque va en letra minúscula. La H. Ah. Uh, I see. Uh -huh. Uh, in English, no, no, it's, it's saying the Spanish. In Spanish, uh huh, no. Uh, uh -huh. is in other price, Jorge? Uh -huh. And I don't know, for example, is the low, is the low range? It cost is um, $100. I'm very hungry. No, I'm very hungry. I'm very hungry. 
Or you can say, I am starving. I am starving. S, S, no, S T A, S T A. Where, where are you? S T, S T A, A. Uh huh. S T A R V V I N G. Uh -huh. that, one, that word is for you to say que, que tiene mucha hambre lo puede decir I am starving en lugar de I am very hungry okay? and um, in the same sentences um and I hope the restaurant has a lot of desserts. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, if this is and finally maybe... and finally I drum a, a song song wine. Uh... and finally I I drum song wine un poco de vino uh, ok but, um, pero eso sería como lo último del before uh -huh. yes before you can um, good maybe 15 15 minutes later <laughs> um, hay que pedir el almuerzo antes de pedir la bebida yes. bueno la cena the dinner uh -huh. Maybe I need a a large cup, a large cup of coffee with a few spoons of sugar. Okay. ¿Qué más? Um, let me see. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about the traffic in mm -hmm. San Salvador and, and Santa Tecla. And then we go for coffee <laughs> mm -hmm. to relax. <laughs> Let's. Ay, como Emerson es bien buena onda, Emerson. Let's go for a. Uh... Uh, ¿Qué le ponemos? A many, a some, a plate. No, no podría ser. Eh, for, um, Let's go to the uh, LC. And I say, okay. <laughs> you are a poor woman. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> no, no. No, no. <laughs> you are a poor man. Yes, no. uh, I say, boy, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can buy two for the price of one. No, um, I don't know. Okay. Mm. Thank you for for your purchase. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you for you. 
Four choice. Four. But I, I don't see. But I don't see Atilio right there. No veo Atilio. Estoy <laughs> <laughs> teacher. Lo que pasa es que entré tarde. Come on. Es que está ahí. Atilio es de cache. Okay, thank you for your purchase. Yo lo voy a decir. For um, your uh, purchase. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mire cómo purchase. le corrige eso que le pone of en azulito. ¿Cómo se lo corrige? For. For. Oh. Pero no porque si pone for, estaría diciendo que va a comprar dos por cien. Ajá. Es que le quiere dar oferta. <ríe> Entonces aquí podría poner, I will buy only two that cost. That cost. One hundred dollar. Dollars. Thank you for your purchase. El puntito. El punto, ya vio. Que le corrige por el punto. Ok. <risa> okay. okay. Eh, ¿Cómo metemos a ti? Ah, 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 en la última. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. you for choice. <risa> Please. Eh, I hope you come. Okay. okay, entonces, okay, but we need a lot of sugar because uh, I hire a party. Because, because we have many uh, to make Lima. many assistant Lima. <laughs> sorry to make lemonade make no. lemonade or we will need a lot of sugar because we have to make for for fifty people people people. And on the beginning, Bernardo, hello, good evening. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Good evening. Hemos mandado a dormir. Yes. Okay. For 50 people. Mm -hmm. and, and Carlos say, oh, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Ten, ten, ten pounds are good, are fine. Mm, countable, okay. countable. Mm -hmm. oh, so, oh. Mm, are. We, we oh, okay. Uh -huh. How many Six? people are going to us to attend? Okay. 
Lemons? <laughs> Do you need something else? Yes. Um uh, we need como es, um and pounds or and uh, um individual, need, I think. <laughs> um one hundred lemons? My god. <laughs> <laughs> two for two for for, for each one. glass. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> with with a uh, strawberry. My God. Okay. <laughs> I am Carlos A. And we need the strawberries too. <laughs> because it's a lemon. It's a pink lemonade. And we can say um we are, we are making the lemonade. We are making. You know, it's a question. <laughs> we are uh huh because we're making pin lemonade. Yeah. No. See. Okay. Hmm. okay, guys, ready? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's yes. go back. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, perfect, guys. So let's see. We're going to first listen to team one, Emerson, Abigail Bonilla, Mayra, Tony, and Wendy. Then team two, Carlos Omar, Jose, Nelly, and Kenya. Then the last team, let me see, Atilio, Jorge, and Carla. Okay, 
All right, guys. If you want, you can share your screen. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. We talk about the traffic. Okay. And okay. my own start. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Tony. Good morning. How are you? Hi, Mayra. Good morning, too. I'm fine. And I see you furious. What's happened? Mm -hmm. uh, I have a difficult morning because I stay alone. I drive a few hours from my house in San Juan Pico to Santa Tecla by Los Chorros Strip. It is the most traveled road in El Salvador. Yes, I agree with you. We need many hours to come at work and then to return to our houses. We spend a lot of time to travel every day. And then I have a little time to play with my kids in the, in the week. Mm -hmm. Stay comfy. I'm going to invite Vitas a few cups of coffee to relax the cake. <laughs> okay. Yes. yes, please. I need a large cup of coffee with a few spoons of sugar. Let's go for a lot of coffee and a few dessert. <laughs> okay. Mm, all right, guys. So let's see. What it says, let me see. Where it says stay, stay in, uh, remove in. Just add a stay calm people. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. stay I'm going calm to people. Yes. I'm going to invite us. Invite mm. us? Or invite no, you. Invite. Yo también quiero que. ¿Cómo? No solo Mayra. Ah, okay, no, but you, you huh? but you can say you because that means uh -huh. ustedes también. Okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, mm -hmm. okay, so I'm going to invite you to a few cups of coffee, two, to a few, to, to a, a few, few. a T O, to a few, T O. I'm going to invite you to a few cups of coffee. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Ah. And what it says, Tony, on the second uh, part, it says, hi, Maya, good morning, too. I'm fine. And I see you're furious. What happened? E.D., remove the letter S and the apostrophe. Uh, and add uh, E.D. Okay. What? Like, what happened, right? ¿Qué pasó? Or if not, uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. what happened? ¿Qué pasó? Uh -huh. ¿Qué pasó? Uh -huh. Right? Yes. Uh -huh. Or what's happening? Right. Okay, está pasando. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Pero what? Sin el S. What's what's happening? What what's happens? happening? Uh -huh. Yes. Without S. Uh -huh. What yes. happened or what happening? Okay. What is happening? In this case, if you if you are the ing, yes. What happened? What what's happening with the letter S? But if not, use with the ed. What happened? Okay. Okay. And relax the cake. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Very Thank good. You. Okay, it was good. Very good. Um, coffee, Tony. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. So next team, Jose, Nelly, and uh, Carlos Omar. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Sí. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Hello. Good evening. How can I help you? Hello. Um, could I have 10 pounds of sugar, please? Nelly, that is too much sugar. We just need two pounds for the lemonade for the party. Mm -hmm. So how much sugar do you need? But we need a lot of sugar because we have to make lemonade for 50 people. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, okay. I didn't rem remember how many people are going to attend to the party. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the sugar. Do you need something else? Mm -hmm. We need lemons. How many lemons do you need? We need uh, 100 lemons. Okay. We need some strawberries too, because we are going to make pink lemonade. Are we making pink lemonade? Yes, we are. Okay, here you have. Uh, thanks for, for buying. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Uh, I think that the one that is like in blue, underlined in blue, is because it should be lowercase. Uh -huh. Perfect. Very good. Thank you. All right. Uh, the last team. The last team. Atilio, George, and Carla. Uh, good morning. I want to buy some cell phones. Good morning. It's okay. How many cell phones do you need? I need to give five cell phones. How much does each one cost? Well, we have two prices. That high range is cost is one thousand two hundred dollars, and mm -hmm. the low range is cost is. $100. Oh my God, it's very expensive. I don't have a lot of money. I will buy only two that cost uh, $100. Okay, thank you for your purchase. Please pay the cashier. Hello. You must pay $200 for this cell phone. What kind of payment? Cash. Okay, thank you for your purchase. Thank you. Let me see. Uh, please pay the cashier. Hello, you must pay $200 for this. Okay. Very good. Okay, well done, guys. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Um, we just need to be careful with probably uh, whenever we are making questions, okay? But then the other part was great. All right, so now let's move and let's um, complete the listening, the listening quizzes, yeah? The listening quizzes. Um, let me get the links. Okay. There you go. That one is the first one, and the passcode is going to be listening. Seven. Let me know once you are ready so I can play the recording. Ready. Okay, so I'm going to play it uh, three times, okay? Here we go. Hi, Dave. Hi. Happy to see you could make it. Come on in. Wow, looks like the party's in full swing. Yeah, and they're eating me out of house oh. and home. Oh, I'd like you to meet my sister, Carol. Oh. She's visiting for the weekend. Oh, which one is she? She's sitting on the sofa over there. You mean the woman wearing the red sweater with the long black hair? Yeah, that's right. Let me introduce you to her. Yeah. I just know you two will hit it off. You're both so outgoing and adventurous. Uh, and who's the man sitting next to her? The man with the suit jacket and the flashy green tie? Oh, that's Bob, my karate teacher. Karate teacher? I never knew you were into karate. Yeah, I started about two months ago. Come on, I'd like you to meet them. The second time. Hi, Dave. Hi. Happy to see you could make it. Come on in. Wow, looks like the party's in full swing. Yeah, and they're eating me out of house oh. and home. 
Oh, I'd like you to meet my sister Carol.、Oh. She's visiting for the weekend. Oh, which one is she? She's sitting on the sofa over there. You mean the woman wearing the red sweater with the long black hair? Yeah, that's right. Let me introduce you to her. Yeah. I just know you two will hit it off. You're both so outgoing and adventurous.、Uh, and who's the man sitting next to her? The man with the suit jacket and the flashy green tie. Oh, that's Bob, my karate teacher. Karate teacher? I never knew you were into karate. Yeah, I started about two months ago. Come on, I'd like you to meet them. Okay, the last time. Hi, Dave. Hi. Happy to see you could make it. Come on in. Wow, looks like the party's in full swing. Yeah, and they're eating me out of house、oh. and home. Oh, I'd like you to meet my sister Carol.、Oh. She's visiting for the weekend. Oh, which one is she? She's sitting on the sofa over there. You mean the woman wearing the red sweater with the long black hair? Yeah, that's right. Let me introduce you to her. Yeah. I just know you two will hit it off. You're both so outgoing and adventurous.、Uh, and who's the man sitting next to her? The man with the suit jacket and the flashy green tie. Oh, that's Bob, my karate teacher. Karate teacher? I never knew you were into karate. Yeah, I started about two months ago. Come on, I'd like you to meet them. Okay, guys, submit your answers. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take the second one. Okay, the last one for today. There you go. Fast food is the same. Listening, capital letters.、Um, yeah, I can see that probably that was difficult. Okay, let me know once you are ready so I can play the recording. What is fast food? Uh, passcode listening capital letters. Listening. Listening. Um. Okay. Ready. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Ready, Atilia. A woman. Ready.、Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. Dad, allowance day. Can I have my allowance? Oh, I forgot about that. You always forget. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I do. How much do I owe you? Just thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars? Why do I owe you that much? Just seems like I paid you the other day. No, you forget every Saturday, and it has been piling up. Well. I'm not sure if I have that much. Go to the bank. You have lots of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lots of money, huh? Uh, well, I think the bank is closed. Then what about your secret money jar under your bed? Oh, I guess I could do that. So, what are you going to do with the money? I'm going to put some in savings, give some to the poor people, and use the rest to buy books. Well, that sounds great, Joshua. Okay. Again, here we go. Dad, allowance day. Can I have my allowance? Oh, I forgot about that. You always forget. Yeah, I guess I do. How much do I owe you? Just thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars? Why do I owe you that much? Just seems like I paid you the other day. No, you forget every Saturday, and it has been piling up. Well, I'm not sure if I have that much. Go to the bank. You have lots of money. Yeah, yeah, lots of money, huh? Uh, well, I think the bank is closed. Then what about your secret money jar under your bed? Oh, I guess I could do that. So, what are you going to do with the money? I'm going to put some in savings, 
give some to the poor people, and use the rest to buy books. Well, that sounds great, Joshua. Okay, the last time. Dad, allowance day. Can I have my allowance? Oh, I forgot about that. You always forget. <laughs> I guess I do. How much do I owe you? Just thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars? Why do I owe you that much? Just seems like I paid you the other day. No, you forget every Saturday, and it has been piling up. Well, I'm not sure if I have that much. Go to the bank. You have、What? lots of money. <laughs> yeah, oh, lots of money, huh? Uh, well, I think the bank is closed. Then what about your secret money jar under your bed? Oh, I guess I could do that. So, what are you going to do with the money? I'm going to put some in savings, give some to the poor people, and use the rest to buy books. Well, that sounds great, Joshua. Okay. I go Fatima, Mayra. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I can see that some of you got one hundred. Okay, which is good. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. So just because of the time, and it's because it's already ten p.m., we are going to stop right here. But but I'll see you back tomorrow.、Uh, the only person that please stay with me, Emerson. Okay. Then the other ones. Thank you very much for connecting today, and I hope you rest, guys. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Take care. Good night. Okay. So Emerson, how are you? How do you feel? Oh, he's fine. You're okay. He's great. Okay, perfect. So Emerson, how do you feel with our classes? Well,、uh, I realized that I needed to reinforce with the. Every pass, participle pass, is some some times. I need more to speak. So.、Mm -hmm. Okay, and let me ask you then, Emerson. What are you doing to improve your speaking skills? Well. I was practicing in the vacation, speaking、mm -hmm. the the dialogues.、Mm -hmm. I needed I needed time for do it,、mm -hmm. and now I don't have a lot of time、okay. for do to do it. To do it. Okay. All right. And now, how do you feel with our classes? I mean, how do you feel with the topics that we are covering, with the dynamic of the class? How do you feel with the exercises, etc.? I like the the dynamics and, and so the topics are interesting. I like it. Okay. Um, do you have any issues with the platform? But for be honest, I don't do it. I don't work it with the platform yet. <laughs> Emerson, oh my God, you haven't. I promise, I'll do it this week, weekend. Okay, so it's okay. All right, Emerson. Um, my feedback for you is the following. Okay. So I can see that you participate when you have the opportunity. You participate, but I want you to participate more. Okay. Okay. Because speaking is very important, and if you speak, 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 so you are going to improve your skill. That that one is the one that you need to improve the pronunciation. Yes. Okay. We need to improve on that one because it's very important. I need you to practice, okay? Because we are、um, on intermediate three, and I need you to improve more and more and more. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um. Yes. Okay. Um. 
do you have any observation? I mean, do you need me to include something on the class? I mean, more reading, more writing, more speaking, more listening, something else? I like to meet more is more more listen more listen please more listening or uh, for practice uh, the hearing the listening uh huh to listen for practice okay. to listen okay but our topics are very strange interesting mm -hmm. and I consider all class the is by the way for do the, the practice okay all right so perfect i will try to i will try to include more listeners okay so you can practice more okay okay thank you all right very good emerson um so the only thing please try to work on the platform don't forget yes okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Emerson. So well, but uh, right now I think that you are good. You, we just need to improve on pronunciation. Okay, pronunciation. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. So then, Emerson, if you don't have any question related to any topic, um, no, not right but now. At the moment, no, no, okay. not right now. All right. So then if you don't have any question, I'll see you back tomorrow. Thank you very much for being responsible. Okay. Okay, miss. Thank you. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye.